uh, another big thing that is happening, obviously, in the Senate this week. The uh, Republican tax plan cleared a major hurdle and will now go to the Senate floor. What do you think is going to happen with this tax plan? Well, I, I think it's a close vote. I think I, I heard what Senator Round said a minute ago, and I, he, he's my friend on the banking committee. We work together in export, import, bank, all kinds of things. But uh, where he's wrong is that the Democrats, the Democrats clearly want to work on this. I was at a White House meeting with a number of members of the Senate Finance Committee. I offered two bills to the president. This was maybe three weeks ago, four weeks ago. One was the Patriot Corporation Act, which says you you give and you pay those companies that do the right thing, keep their production here, pay good wages. You give them a tax break. Those companies that don't, that, 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 that move jobs overseas, you don't. And also our Working Families Tax Relief Act, which would put money directly in the pockets of, of people making twenty-five or fifty or $75,000 a year. I mean, I hear Republicans on this tax bill keep talking about it's a middle-class tax bill, and I think Chris sort of exploded that myth effectively a moment ago. But if they want to do, a, if you want to cut taxes in the middle class, cut taxes in the middle class. Don't do this bank shot where you give hundreds of billions of dollars to the largest corporations in the country many of which it will con it will incent them to outsource more. You give hundreds of billions of dollars to them with the hope that it trickles down to the middle class. It doesn't work that way. Forget the bank shot. Get rid of the middleman. Do direct tax reform for the middle class. This bill doesn't even pretend to do that. And have your Republican colleagues or the president shown any interest in your working families tax relief suggestion or your patriot tax relief suggestion? Yeah, the, the, the president did. The president said he liked the bill. I handed a copy to him. I brought it up to him in a phone call later. He said he liked it. Uh, there's a clear disconnect between what he said he wants in his campaign and in those conversations and what's going on in the back room. I mean, this is a bill that's, that's been written in the back room in the, in the majority leader's office, sitting down with Wall Street lobbyists and Koch brother lobbyists and, and drug company lobbyists and oil interests. And, and they changed the bill every couple of nights in the middle of the markup in the finance committee they added the the health care provision to take to, to to get a huge tax cut to get a tax savings there so they could cut corporate taxes more sticking it again to the middle class then the bill it comes out a couple days ago that this hurts middle class and working family taxpayers even more that they're going to get a bigger hit while upper income people get a bigger benefit and every day this bill changes because they're trying to cut deals instead of doing it the way it should be and that is out in the open Open, so CNN can cover it, so Fox News can cover it, so MSNBC can cover it, and let's see what's really going on and, and give everybody a chance in an open process. They simply don't seem to want to do it that way.